Layer masks in Affinity are a fantastic way to remove part of an image, but still work non-destructively. So we're not permanently erasing parts of the image. And if we make a mistake, we can always bring it back. So to add a layer mask, what we need to do is select a layer. You can see I've got my image here of this cute bear toast thing. And then we're gonna to go to the bottom of the layers panel and click this icon here. So now we have a layer mask. Now when viewing the layer in this way, you can see the mask appear alongside it, which is very similar to something like Photoshop. And if I then twizzle this down, you can see the mask appears underneath. And then if I collapse it, it goes back alongside. So masks work like this, and so do adjustment layers. It does take some getting used to if you're coming from Photoshop like I am, but I think I'm getting used to it now. Now when using masks, there's a few different tools that you can use, but in this example, I'm gonna grab the brush tool. That's B on the keyboard. And just make sure that you're in the pixel studio as well. So let's go to our brushes panel and just pick a nice big chunky brush. And masks work predominantly with black and white and then every shade of gray in between. So let's make sure we can see our layers panel. So at the moment, the mask is completely white. Areas on a mask that are white will show your image. If I were to press Command or Control I with the mask selected and invert it, well, normally the mask would change color, but it doesn't seem to. Ah, there we go. So I don't know if that's a little bit of a bug there, but you can see the mask is now black and black means that your image will be hidden. So white is shown, black is hidden. So with that in mind and with the brush tool selected, what we can do is press D on the keyboard. This is gonna reset our foreground and background color back to black and white and we can switch between them with X on the keyboard. So you can see me flip-flopping them around here. So with the black selected, I'm just gonna start brushing in. And you can see if you look at the layer mask, you can see the layer mask has updated. And if I keep brushing, it's just gonna remove more of the image. And if I press X to switch to white, now when I brush over this same area, it's gonna bring parts of the image back. So masking enables us to remove parts of a layer and then bring it back. Nothing is permanent. So if I try and manually cut this out, let's just say I'm trying to cut this out manually. There we go. Cut around the finger. Oh, whoops, I've just gone into the finger. Sorry, you've just had unexpected finger surgery. I can either switch to white and bring that back in, or if I really do screw it up completely, we can select the layer mask and we can just delete it. And we could just start again by adding a fresh one. So it's a fantastic way of working. And just to give you a practical example of how this can be used, what we could do is go over here, click and hold, and we could use the object selection tool or the selection tool. I'm gonna try this one for now. Let's see if we can make a selection. We can increase or decrease the selection brush size with the left and right square brackets on the keyboard. So let's go, oh, that's doing a pretty good job. Flipping egg affinity, nice. So now we've very quickly made a pretty decent selection. Actually, there's just a little bit of finger missing there. I see you. Now, if you do capture too much in the selection, what you can do is hold down alter option and remove from the selection and then just brush back in to recapture it. But we have a good selection. And with that selection made, we can go to the bottom of the layers panel Again, click this icon to mask the layer and you can see it masks everything out. Now I did miss a bit. <laughs> I've kind of messed up his face now. Now, if you do want to deselect the marching ants as they're called, press command or control D on the keyboard. And remember, because we've removed a bit too much now, we just have to use white to bring that back in. And I'm clearly using the wrong tool. So let's switch to the brush tool with B. Come on down, you plonker. And we're gonna bring that back in with white. And yes, I am aware that we now have three floating fingers and a piece of toast and no hand, but we're just gonna ignore that for now and carry on. And if you do want to hide your mask and get a preview of how the original image looked, what you can do is hover over the mask, hold shift and click, and it will temporarily disable it and then just do it again to bring the mask back.